tropics can bring us rain this time of year. But what we see in the tropics right now will not bring us measurable rainfall at the moment. You can see here we've got post-tropical storm Imelda. So our post-tropical cyclone still has winds that are up to hurricane status, but it's pulled away from Bermuda at this point, moving across the Atlantic. Here's the remnants of Umberto right there. Those are making their way across the Atlantic as well, eventually impacting northern Europe, including parts of the UK and over towards France as well. And we've got two other areas we're watching. We have a tropical wave, which is coming off the coast of Africa now that has a 20% chance of development. By the time we get towards the middle part of next week in the central Atlantic, we also have a little area circled that is not far from from Florida. That is just kind of barely a cluster of thunderstorms now. We got a little front hanging on there. And as we get into the weekend and we see moisture returning here, there is a very low chance that some kind of low could spin up along that area of thunderstorm activity. So we'll be watching that as well. But as of right now, does not look like a high promise of something developing there. And just to kind of give you context with this, as we look at our big picture European model, you see how we see this moisture Sunday and Monday kind of flaring up there. Well, it would be areas, let's see, let me take you to Saturday. It'd be where we have this moisture draped with this boundary. A little low could try to spin up along that, but right now the odds of that are not looking very favorable for an actual tropical low depression or cyclone to form along that. So that's what we're watching, low end chance of development, but it will bring some good rainfall.